Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you all how I print my little thermal label stickers. So the first thing that you will need is Canva. Um, I'm not sure if it works with another app, but I use Canva personally. And the first thing that you're going to do is create a new design. So if you've never worked with Canva before, it's pretty simple. You just do that little plus icon at the bottom. And I'm actually going to do a custom size. And oh, there you go. That was my recent one, 2.25 by 1.25. Um, I will include a link to the stickers that I got. But if you do end up getting a different size, make sure that you make it that specific size and that you change this to inches so that, you know, you don't have to convert anything. But I'm just going to click on my recent size and go from there. Now from here you can really do whatever you want, but I recommend doing something with very minimal uh, writing and images, you know what I mean? Because your thermal printer actually only prints in one color, so everything here that you see here isn't really going to be printed. So I'm just going to make the background white really quick and get rid of any unnecessary text, you know what I mean? And just make everything black so like this image here that's really pretty i'm just going to go ahead and make it black because that's how it's going to print and same with this text uh let's change the color of that to black because again that's how it's going to print so here is what the sticker will sort of look like but of course the background is actually like a pink so it's going to look somewhat like this but again just keep it white so that you don't have any additional colors being printed we just want to print all the black ink um so there's that and then of course you can write whatever you want let me try and come up with something that i want to um, actually make stickers with so i'll actually print these and use them but i'll be back once i come up with something okay i'm pretty basic and i just want to put a thank you for your support and i'm actually going to resize it because remember this is a pretty small sticker so i'm going to move the flower a little bit and try and resize this text to be as big as it allows me to make it you know what i mean and that it still looks good and it fits within the little um area that we're given for the sticker so that looks good for now and i'm going to go ahead and click this icon i'm not sure what you would call it but we're going to save it as something else and what i like to do actually is click save as and we're going to save as a PDF so it normally suggests that you do a PNG or whatever that is but we're going to do um, a PDF and I just do standard you can also do PDF print whichever one you want I mean I guess I'll do that one for today since it does it does say higher quality so we'll do that and then I'm just going to download it and my internet is pretty slow. I'm not even on my Wi-Fi. Wow. Okay, so I'm going to download it and I'm actually going to add it to my drive. Um, I just have a Google Drive folder so that I can easily access it on my laptop. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then I'll film the next portion of this video on my laptop so I can show you my settings for my printer and actually get to printing it. So I'm actually excited. This came out really cute. So I'm going to save it again to my drive and then now it's there for me to use.